Hey guys, it's Jen from Cat Scrap Designs. How is everybody doing today? Uh, long time no see. I, I know I've been missing in action for a while, just a lot going on personally. Uh, but I'm here today to do a hashtag tag me Tuesday um, from Cappy's Garden. I'm going to do an envelope tag pocket and I am going to use my scraps and try to use my Christmas scraps so I could put this in my Christmas journal and kind of call it a day with that journal and do a final flip through. Um, so I just thought that I would go ahead and, um, and do that. So this was a um, junk mail envelope. I cut this right here. Um, it's sealed in the back. I'll just glue that down, but it's open right here for now. Um, and I want to put this inside. It's going to be a closed tag. So I'm hoping that he's going to fit where we could see him. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, use my art glitter glue to glue him down so he stays and these I believe are kind of the same papers I was using for the journal they're my scraps uh, the freebie from Artie Mays. Let's see if I could get this in here. I know it could go further than that if I could get it. And I know we have a little bit of, um, when I did the coffee dye, you can see the coffee stain right here, but that's okay. I wonder if we could stick this down. Just wondering. You know, when you do the coffee dye, it does bring up, lifts this a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to just collage here, even though I coffee dyed it. I don't know. I coffee dyed a bunch of them when I was doing coffee dye. And um, where did that go? Did I just lose that? It just keeps falling out. No. Um, yeah, so I coffee dyed a bunch of stuff and I just wound up throwing in a few envelopes. So... <clears throat> <clears throat> we could have used a plain envelope on this. That would have been fine. I'll leave that off for now because we are going to use some of this. Do some collaging. I gotta glue some of that because that that came up from the coffee dye. It's the one thing I hate about coffee dyeing envelopes is that. The plastic does come up, but there's nothing you could do. I think I did. 
So yeah, so we're just gonna collage this. Should have just used an envelope that wasn't coffee dyed. It would have been a lot easier. But hey, so we have I'm gonna do this. I like the other side of this too. It's got the polka dots and it looks like it's coffee dyed. Just the digital. More scraps. Um, I might just even I might actually use this for the bottom. Yeah, I like that. And then one more piece over here. I'm wondering if I should. Do a little book page. This is actually from an ideals magazine. I could use that for something. exactly how short it's gonna how far it's gonna go so I'm just gonna yeah well I know the top's not going in why did I do that I don't know <laughs>
go. All right. Now. I just want to get a little bit. ink on, <clears throat> I'm going to use this, on some of this white, should have done it beforehand, but I didn't, same thing here, back the back of that so you could journal on it and I don't have paper I just don't know this is graph paper that was I don't know what happened to it this of course I'm not going to measure I'm cut this real quick Just going to put this on the back. I know we didn't make it into a tag yet. You could use any type of paper to put it on the back. So you could either journal or I don't know. When Kathy did her, she did a pocket on the back. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Make sure this is dry. I still have this open. But let's see. Just wondering. If I want to make a pocket on the back using this. Again, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to cut it. Use a little pencil. <clears throat> and hmm. All right, we're going to cut this now. Let's see, where are we going to cut this? I'm going to make this a pocket. Let's see, right here.
I'm just gonna it right here, and then what we're gonna do is, gonna put a little divot in there. I'm looking for my circle punch. We'll do that like Do a little one right there. Do a little inking on there. And I'm just going <clears> to <throat> glue this on three sides. There we go. Actually, we just got to trim this because um, I had to trim that, I have to put some more glue here which really isn't gonna matter because I'm gonna sew it. Wait for some of that to dry. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, we're gonna cut this. Um, I'm not gonna make this too, let's see what it looks like when I do it. No, it's not a whole lot, but I don't like my tags too pointy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine, <clears throat> just going to run a stitch all the way around it. It's going to be a closed tag, so really all we're going to see is um, the little birdie, and I shall be back. So just hang tight, and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I sewed around um, the tag. And we have our pocket back here. And I think we're just going to, in that pocket, we're just going to put a piece of coffee dye paper. And just to give it, you know, give you more writing space. So I have a piece here. And what I think I'm going to do I want it to fit.
Okay, so I'm just going to cut this. Cut it here. You could use that for something else. You could just keep this here. And then I'm going to use the ribbon punch. It's a punch right here. And then I think I'm going to use this green. Gotta rip it, make it a little thinner. This green piece. So put this through. This looks really long. I'll be cutting some of this off. tag and then we're going to see we have a couple of things we could add to that just look in here on the side some of my we are right here believe in the magic of Christmas and this is for Christmas Putting this right there. Do a little inking. Putting that right there. believe I we really need to ink this but let's see oops put this right here I think that looks cute. And then on the back here, just trying to think. Um, I have a Ink this up here, fragile, handle with care. And I think we should put this. And we're not gonna really see it when we put it under, we might see some of it, which is fine. Leave it there. Okay. 
And I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we really need to put. I do have some point setters that I could cut out, but I don't really want, I don't really want to do that. I'd have to fussy cut them. I could stick them up here. Oh, let's see. I hate fussy cutting. I don't know about you guys, but. Just trying to think of what else we could put on the tag. I mean, it already looks Christmassy to me. It doesn't have to be over embellished. Definitely needs to be inked because I have some white here. But now we could put, you could even put it just like in the corner. I don't want to stick it. to um, the plastic. No, I think it looks good like that. Mm. What do you guys think? I think this would be a good addition to the journal. So, yeah, I think we're good with that. I think that is a um, good start. <laughs> So, um, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.